Hey everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're looking at the Oakley Kitchen Sink Backpack. I want to give a shout out to my friend B. White for passing this on to me for review. As far as your price point, it's going to be $150 plus. I've seen from $150 up to a little over $200 depending on where you pick this up, so definitely do your research. The other thing I want to share with you is that it looks like a wide variety of colors exist for this backpack, but as far as finding a place you can purchase the different colors, that's going to take a little work on your part. Your part. I've looked at a couple different websites. Right now I'm looking at waterproofbackpackguide.com and they have the kitchen sink backpack in red, in tan, in a sage, in kind of an urban camo it looks like. They've got one in, it looks like khaki I guess I would say. They have the black one, they have one called Stealth, which is uh, instead of these silver buckles and clasps and things, they're, uh, they're much more subtle in the tone. And then there's one that's kind of a, a grayish khaki color as well. So there's a wide variety of colors, but you're definitely going to have to dig around to find the one that you want. You know, get on the internet, go to your local retailers if you want to pick this one up. I have found that the two easiest packs to find are the Stealth, which is very similar to this other than the fact that all the silver is much more subdued and pretty much black or a dark gray. And then this one, which is considered black, and you can see what this looks like. In a minute here, I'll show you up close some of the features, but first let me just talk about some of the specs so you know. It's a 34 liter capacity bag. Your height is 20 inches, your width is 14 inches, and your depth is 8 inches. It's made of 69% nylon and 31% polyester. We'll start up top here, you can hear this section is actually made of a slightly different material than the rest of the bag. A little bit more solid, definitely give you some more protection for items that you have inside there. Zipper pull, and it is this entire section here. So, you know, if you got glasses or other things that need some, uh, some extra, you know, additional coverage, this is a good place to, uh, to put them. Let's talk about these clasps right here. These ones are a little strange when you first see them, but they do uh, function quite well. So you've got these little hooks on both sides and the way that you get into the main section of the bag is by pulling up on these hooks that releases them. So same on this side. And now I can get into the main portion of the bag. When I have released those two clasps, this opens up and the main zipper is right here, but there's actually another compartment right here. And so you can see these are a little bit more sturdy material. So you've got a bunch of different, uh, basically organizational pockets, hook and loop closure, hook and loop closure, and then two down here that are open. You can just slide some items into. I have flipped the pack 180 degrees so you can still see this is the section we were just talking about. But in addition to these uh, you know, organizational pockets, there is more space down here to put items as well. Down toward the bottom we have these three rings. They are metal, but they're very lightweight so they're not adding a ton of extra weight to your pack. You can certainly throw some carabiners on here or attach different items that you might want to uh, to the pack using these. Then you also have down here on the bottom, you got a clip here and then you have a zipper so you can store things inside and this is quite a large section and this is uh, it's got these two drain holes so the concept essentially is if you have to put something in here shoes other items whatever it might be that are wet it's going to be in this section and that'll give the uh, the drain holes will give an opportunity for some of that water to drain out without getting the rest of the items in your pack dirty and wet on both the left and the right side of the pack you do have these pockets and you can see hook and loop closure on the outside and then Nice large pocket, so from this hand to this hand, and then this wide as well. So plenty of storage space for some smaller to medium sized items on the outside of the pack. You can see my hands are a little washed out when it comes to the color, that's because I want you to be able to see deep down into the bottom of this pack. Lots of space here, and then you do have a storage compartment for up to a 17 inch laptop here in this back section. One other thing is that if you need to get to this section over here on the side, another zipper so you can access that portion of the pack. Flipping the bag around here, you can see we have a carry also handle. Also got adjustable straps here, have a sternum strap down below, and then we also have a pocket here and a pocket here. These are mesh, and then they have hook and loop closure to uh, keep whatever you have inside. Let's go down to this last bottom section in a moment, but first I just want to mention that you can see the cutout here, here, and here, and that's to allow airflow so the air can get in you know, behind your back, basically between your back and the pack, to keep you a little bit cooler when you're carrying the pack. On the lower portion of the pack, you can see this is padded as is this side. This is also quite soft here. And then we have your adjustable waist strap. And then on the side here, 
and over here we've got two and two pockets with hook and loop closure that can go over the top of them so you're going to have access to a lot of different items just by two pockets here two pockets here and then two up there on your shoulder strap so lots of things you can carry and have access to without even taking the pack off so just to give you a quick sense of how much this pack can hold, I threw a bunch of items in here the other day when I was going out to shoot some video reviews, and I just want to show you, without even organizing the pack, how much stuff I was able to fit in it. So on the sides, I got some gloves, and then down inside, which is pretty much where I put everything, belt, water bottle, got a Shemag, Fremont hatchet, or Farson hatchet from Fremont, another set of gloves, CRKT machete, knife from Schrade, another knife from Schrade, otter box, this is the Farson blade from Fremont, CRKT tomahawk, folding saw from Baco Laplander there, this is a K-Bar knife, some information for the K-Bar knife, the Theorem switchback, another blade from uh, Schrade, the gear locker, one of their old patches, some more patches, some paracord, and I think that's it. That's just what I tossed into this main section. So as you can tell, this thing can hold a lot of different gear. What I want to do here is just show you the Oakley kitchen sink pack compared to two other packs that are pretty common, packs that people like. The uh, assault pack over on your left, that's the Condor assault pack, and then a messenger bag, that's the Jumbo Versa pack from Maxpedition over on the right. And you could easily fit two of the Condor packs and probably two of the Maxpedition packs into the Oakley pack. So this is definitely a large pack in the middle. That Oakley kitchen sink really is going to hold a lot of gear for you. So let's wrap up here talking about the Oakley kitchen sink backpack. The two main downsides I would say are, they're not really even downsides as much as things to be aware of. First is your price point. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, you know, this is not a cheap pack, so this may not be the one for you. And the second thing is if you want a small or a very compact backpack, this is also probably not the backpack for you because it is, as you can see and as you saw earlier, a pretty large backpack. Now when it comes to the upsides of this backpack, there's a bunch of things I would mention. First, it's nicely made, the materials are good. I like the look of it. I like the number of pockets and the different sizes of the pockets. You can just can store a lot of different things in different places. I like the internal setup that you've got a bunch of different pockets inside. I like that big pocket on the bottom so you can put wet clothes or shoes, whatever it might be, in that bottom section and they're not in the main compartment, you know, touching your computer or a bunch of other gear, getting it all nasty. Now to be candid with you, since I get a lot of different packs, a lot of different gear to review and to test out, there's some items I get that I don't like, so I just you know pass it on to somebody else, maybe they'll like it. Some of the items I get and I keep because I'm gonna use it as a contrast item in other videos. Some items I sell and uh, or trade you know, so I can get future gear to review. When it comes to this pack, I will be keeping it. I like it, it's got a wide variety of applications and I'm gonna be uh, using this when it comes to throwing a bunch of gear in it, heading out to the woods to you know do an overnight, just hang out in the woods, spend some time working on skills, or as you saw earlier, bringing items out for review. And uh, I can just throw them all in without really thinking because this thing just has plenty of space. This has been a review of the Oakley Kitchen Sink Backpack. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.